Good evening and welcome to Colossiborough Co-Ed Virtual Open Night. We are Louis and Aoife and we are delighted to be showing you around tonight. This time last year we were sixth class pupils, just like you are now, and we sat at home and watched the virtual open night. Unfortunately, it is virtual again this year, but we really hope we can get across the friendly atmosphere that our school is well known for. So with that, we'll get this tour started. First up is Maths, PE and Business Studies. See you later. Hi, I'm Miss Pollard. Welcome to our first year maths class, where today we're looking at integers and we're specifically looking at adding and subtracting integers. We are currently doing integers, where we are learning about negative and positive whole numbers. This is GeoGebra. We use it to practice integers. We use the interactive whiteboard in class so Miss can save our work and put it on Google Classroom. Hello and welcome to the Dome. I'm Miss Carey and I'm one of the PE teachers here at Colossiver Coed. As you'll see today, students are taking part in a wide range of activities. Students undertake a short course in PE as part of the junior cycle and many activities of these include games, gymnastics, orienteering, athletics and much more. Here in Colossiver Coed, we believe that physical education plays a central role in the holistic development of each of our students. We seek to create a safe and inclusive learning environment that helps to foster a lifelong love of physical activity. Here in Colossal Verkowet, we cater for all learners through encouraging the use of technology and participation in structured focus lessons. Ra, us, Sam. Success. True. Effort. Hi, I'm Aideen. And I'm Alva. And we are second year business study students in CMCO. For our business CBA, we had to do finance and action. We had to price and find a car suitable for a family. We were given the necessary information on the family's needs and budget, and of that, we decided on a car that we thought would be best suitable for the family. We hope you enjoyed those. Next up are our languages, French, Japanese and Irish. Eraiglin. Bonjour, bienvenue au cours de français. Je m'appelle Madame Lart et je suis une des professeurs ici à Cloche d'Or. French is the main uh, modern foreign language taught here at Junior Cycle and is one of two modern foreign languages taught at Senior Cycle. The hour-long classes at Colosse de Wera, um, allow us to target all five elements of the language, which are reading, writing, listening, spoken production and spoken interaction. The target language is also a huge priority for us in our French lessons. We teach our languages in fun and interactive ways using a blend of traditional and high-tech approaches. Here you can see our first-year students using an app called Quizlet. Quizlet is an online flashcards resource that our students use to learn vocabulary and verbs. Um, it's a great activity to use during lessons and to assess students' learning and can also be used at home to study. Bonjour, je m'appelle Lia. Comment tu t'appelles? Bonjour, je m'appelle Ben. Où habites tu J'habite Tipperary. Où habites tu J'habite Tipperary. Au revoir. Nihongo no krasuni yoko so. Martin Sensei to Moshimas. Yoroshiko Nagaishimas. My name is Ms. Martin and I'm one of the Japanese teachers here at Koloshivura Coed. Japanese is one of our modern foreign language options at transition year and senior cycle. Choosing Japanese opens many doors for our students. Some students of Japanese go on to study business, gaming, coding, and teaching, to name but a few. We use many different learning methods here in class, including language apps such as Quizlet, Duolingo, and Real Kana. Arigato gozaimasu. Hajime mashite, boku wa Benjamin des. Hajime mashite, boku wa nete des. Hajime mashite, boku wa poru des. Nihango gaski des. Uh, karasu wa tenoshi des. Yoroshiku wa negoi shimasu. Deev! Phil's township. Dana ti o rong na goelga, an tusil da botle aran sho. Falcha kuig o rong na goelga i galosh na vera koed. Kugar, or a duur Seamus Heaney. Not to learn Irish is to miss the opportunity of understanding what life in this country has meant and would mean uh, in a better future. It is to cut oneself off from ways of being at home. Erai glat inimi kahal. 
Tommy and Chang Yuv, a glout live when a hover scholar. I got shot and hover at all and lower and Yuv. Cormac, or what that's a rug egg in a raw? Dave, it's Mesha Cormac, cause Kalashta were a coad. A falter of August, a small am Aline, says Kalsha. Tussa. Dave, it's Mesha Quivin, as Barisle. It's Bralam on BS a canteen. Come on, or else. Tussa. Dear you, it's Mesha Megan, it's Austerlis May, August is Bralam a cockerocked. Wow, come on, Tussa. Dear you, it's Mesha Alfie, as mine, it's Bralam on Mutalorok. Ah, come on. Tussa. Dave, it's Misha Lucas, as Cluna Lolted. It's even on Imaniac, the Oscar. Gamma, Toshi Bar Aus, Erfad. We'll interrupt your tour here now to speak to some of the support staff here at Colosh de Vera, Miss Delaney. Hi, my name is Julie Delaney and I'm the coordinator of special educational needs here in our school. Uh, we value every individual um, and Obviously, SEN is something that is individual to every student and if you have any queries in relation to this, I would appreciate it if you tried to contact me through the school. And thanks very much. Thank you, Miss Delaney. Now to continue with our tour, the next subjects up are woodwork and history. Hi and welcome to the woodworker room in Claus Rivera. I'm Mr Power and I'm going to show you around. You can see we have some first years working away here, Katie, Tomas and Sam and our first year project. Within first year they do a 16 week uh, taster course that they really, really make sure they want to keep it on to junior sort. They're doing some uh, wood burning and Sam is just isling off uh, finishing touches on their projects. We have our second years here now, Tom, Kieran, and Kyle working their plane project, loads of different processes, trenching, planing and chiseling going on, going on here. If you want to come down the back, we have our chargers just setting up the lades for a little bit of wood turning, turning two lovely lamps here. We have our six year projects, is a range of different ones, um, an extremely high standard here. And just behind us then we have our TY projects, our third year projects, second and first year projects. As I said, there's a very high standard here. I'm very proud of it. Hello, my name is Kieran. I'm in second year and I'm in Mr. Power's woodwork class. I really like woodwork because it's a practical subject. I like working with my hands and we are always making different projects. Since I'm in first year, I have learned how to use different tools and machines in class, like saws, chisels, planes, drills and more. At the moment, I'm making an airplane project. Some of the projects I have made since I'm in woodwork are a phone holder, a teapot stand, an X's and O's game and my favourite project is the monkey puzzle. I'd love to see you here in September and thanks very much for calling in. Hi, I'm Mr. Fahey and I'm one of the history teachers here in Clarstower Coed. All our students study history at Junior Cycle and it's a very popular subject choice at Leaving Cert. Our students study history using a hands-on evidence-based approach which allows each student to gain a comprehensive understanding of all the topics being studied, which range from ancient Ireland, over 10,000, going back 10,000 years, to European integration up to the 1980s. I like history because I like learning about the past. I enjoy studying history because I find it interesting learning about my ancestors' way of living. I like history because I like researching and learning about my local area. Thanks Mr Fahey. Next up we'll go to the canteen where first years will show you around and how it works. And after that we'll go to home ec science and geography. Enjoy. Hello, my name is Christopher and I'm a first year student here in Clostrevera. This is Rachel, Jamesy and Shamey. And we are going to be showing you how our wonderful canteen works in here, here in Clostrevera. The canteen opens at 8 o'clock in the morning for breakfast club. Students will get a packed bag with an apple, a croissant and orange juice. Then at 11 o'clock there will be, they have break and then they will get either a panini, a roll, a wrap, a salad bowl or a granola bowl and lots more. This is also available again at lunchtime along with the hot dinner of the day. The hot dinner of the day is always potato, meat and two times veg twice a week along with a pasta and rice dish, so it's different every day. The canteen caters to all dietary requirements, such as gluten-free and any allergies. All food 
is pre-ordered the week before online. We love our food here in CMCO, you will too. Welcome to the science department here at Kaloshtabura Coed. Here at Kaloshtabura Coed, we offer Junior Cert Science, Leaving Cert Agricultural Science, Biology, Chemistry and Physics. During transition year, students get to sample all four of these subjects before making their subject choices for their Leaving Cert. Leaving Cert Agricultural Science involves the study of farm safety, soil science, crops and animal science. We incorporate farm visits, guest speakers and trips to open days in agricultural colleges such as Gertine and Kildalton. The Leaving Cert Biology course is really diverse and covers everything from cell biology to the human body to ecology and plants. Leaving Cert Chemistry builds on the foundations of the chemistry section of the Junior Cert Science course. Experimentation is used to reinforce the learning of topics such as titrations, environmental and organic chemistry. Leaving Cert Physics includes all aspects from mechanics to nuclear physics. An integral part of the course is relating the theory to real-life applications. Here at Kloshtavara Coed, we encourage our students to participate in a variety of competitions at both local and national level, such as the SciFest competition and the Young Scientist competition. Hello, my name is Aaron McNamara and I am a fifth year physics student here at Kloshtavara Coed. Today I will be demonstrating acceleration due to gravity using a ticker timer. Hello, my name is Zoe Defoe. I'm a third year student here at Kaloshtavara Coed and today I'm going to be demonstrating the production of oxygen. So firstly I'm going to add the hydrogen peroxide into the manganese dioxide and the manganese dioxide is a catalyst which just speeds up the process and we should see oxygen bubbles come into the gas chair. Like so. And now we're just going to burn some magnesium ribbon in some oxygen that we've already collected. And it burns a lot brighter than normal, which proves that we have indeed collected oxygen. Hi, I'm Sean Craddock and I teach geography here at Colossal World Coed. Uh, we're here at the moment with our second year students uh, in geography. All students at Kalosh to work co-ed in fourth year do geography as a starter subject and they have an option then at the end of fourth year to continue up to junior cert and if they so desire up to leaving cert. Hi, I'm Matthew and I like geography because I can learn about volcanoes and earthquakes. Hi, I'm Sophie. I like geography because we get to learn about a lot of interesting things such as deforestation and climate change. Hi there, welcome to Home Economics. My name is Miss Donovan and I'm a member of the Home Economics Department. Hello, my name is Miss Delaney and I'm also a member of the Home Economics Department. Home Economics in Kaloshavara is a vibrant and extremely popular subject. The courses are varied and flexible, facilitating all students to reach their full potential. It is worth noting that in state examinations, our students regularly outperform the national averages. Home economics is hugely relevant to our everyday lives, but also transferable into the world of work. Engaging, effortful and effective strategies are at the core of our approach to teaching and learning, nurturing students' resourcefulness, innovation and adaptability. Home economics teaches students to think and to make informed decisions. The emphasis on student voice is a central component to the popularity of home economics. A varied approach to assessment is one of the many ways that we make learning fun. We effectively embed digital technologies to enhance the learner experience and use it appropriately to support teaching, learning and assessment. One of the many benefits of choosing home economics is that the students are encouraged to cook at home. It gets better, they're trained to clean up too. Hi, my name is Amy Ryan and I am a fifth year home economics student. I decided to keep on home economics because I really enjoy it and it is useful for life after school. The teachers are all really helpful and are always available if you have a question. This helps me achieve the best results I can. For example, home economics is one of the subjects I get my best results in. 
Hello, my name is Keelan Fahey. I'm a fifth year student in Clóshebuir Coed. I chose Homec because it is a great subject and it really helped me with subjects outside of school. In primary school, it was the one subject that I always wanted to do. I really love this subject because we have great teachers and they really help us to achieve great subject goals. The next person we want you to meet is Miss Hickey. She's a guidance counsellor and English teacher here. Following that, you'll see engineering, English and music. See you soon. Hi, my name is Trisha Hickey and I'm one of two guidance counsellors here in the school. One of the biggest parts of my job is to help your son or daughter with subject choice. I'm also a member of the student support team that meets once a week, every week here in the school. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact the office. Thank you. Good evening everyone. You're very welcome into the engineering room here in Colossal My name is Kevin Gleeson. I'm one of the engineering teachers in the school along with Mr Fian. Engineering is a hugely popular subject in the school and we're the only school in Turles that offers engineering as a junior cycle and senior cycle subject. When first years come into the school, they'll all get the opportunity to experience engineering as a subject and then through the tester um, programme and they'll then decide if, if they want to keep it on in junior cycle and senior cycle. So engineering is a practical based subject where students will learn about engineering principles and processes through project and practical work which is embedded into. If we look down here towards the back of the room we have a group of second year students who are currently working, starting working on a project and they're using a lot of metrology equipment such as vernier height gauges and vernier calipers to help them mark out the pieces very accurately. So here we have Michael and John who are TY students and they're currently um, working on electronic uh, circuits on their projects. So Michael can you quickly show us how your circuit works. Yeah, I have my power supply here and um, I just flick the switch and it goes straight to the propeller and it turns on. Okay, and John, can you just demonstrate to us how you're, you're working on a lighting circuit, is it for your car? Yeah. Uh, um, indicator circuit, so can you just show us how that works? So, connect the battery. Then when I flick this switch, the lights will switch, one on, one will come on, so it will act as indicators on my project. Okay, and just can you tell us a little bit about the, the, what components so are in it? I have a battery pack, resistors, two LED lights and a switch. And Lovely. the resistors will protect the LED lights. So on this bench here we have a range of leave insert engineering projects. Um, and this is really where, um, where all the students experience of the machines that they worked on and the processes will come to fruition. So typically if you look at these projects here, um, students will have used the lathe or the CNC lathe to manufacture maybe the wheels and they'll use additive manufacturing processes like 3D printing to print off maybe different parts for their projects and they'll use a whole range of electronic um, circuits and components um, throughout the project. So Dara, can you just briefly show us some of the electronic circuits that were used in this project from last year's Leave Insert? Yeah, no problem. So this is a sixth year project now and in the design brief they were told that it must have a lift that goes up and down as shown as here. So going up and going back down. And it also has a drive shaft here and using a beveled mechanism here that goes on off and that powers the whole, the whole car. And then you have lights up here that go on off with the flick of this switch. Okay, very good. So, yeah, so I suppose what's impressive really here about this, um, these projects is that all the parts here on any of these projects will be handmade by the students in the class using the various equipment and machinery um, uh, available to them. Um, so, like, if you take the cab here on this project, there will be TIG welding in this because it's made from a mild steel. And if you look at the exhaust system here, maybe on this project here, will also involve some TIG welding and there's 3D printing on in the front seats in it and they've done some laid work to manufacture the wheels. Thanks very much for visiting the engineering room. Here in CMCO we cater for all levels ability in our English department. Um, we have full range of access to online libraries, to physical books. Um, we use our iPads daily. Um, we cater for junior cert and leave insert, higher and ordinary level. Um, in first year all students participate in common level. Uh, they complete a vocabulary enrichment programme um, in conjunction with the University of Limerick and at the moment students are studying their poetry and are, in their spare time they access our online library which contains thousands of books.
Hello, my name is Ethan Butler, and I will be studying music for my leaving cert. You may ask what music means to us here in Clochaborough, and so I'll tell you. It means creativity, freedom and friendship, and effort and respect. Music has been an important role in my journey throughout school. From the buzz during showtime in the Dome, to the adrenaline rush of competing in the Limerick Choral Festival, and the genuine honour of performing with our friends in Padre Pio. From small beginnings come great things. We hope you enjoyed the tour so far. It's been a really busy night, but we're not finished yet. Up next is art, ITC and graphics. Enjoy. Hello everyone, welcome to our virtual open day. Uh, my name is PJ O'Connell, I'm one of three art teachers in the school. The others are Regina Dorney and Geraldine Cal. We have two art rooms and we teach art from first year up to sixth year. Art is a subject which allows our learners to be creative, independent, resourceful and confident. Our classes enable learners to develop skills that are conceptual and practical, and we know that the act of making is deeply satisfying and personal. We look forward to seeing you in person, hopefully very soon. Hi, my name is Regina here, and uh, our main aim in the art department is, is to create a link between the teaching of art and design with well-being, and we do this through printmaking, painting, pottery, sculpture and graphic design. As when students learn these skills, we provide with them with the confidence and skills of, as a creative outlet for self-esteem. And this creates a positive learning environment where our students will engage in the learning in a very meaningful way. And our virtual art gallery is a prime example of this, where the students themselves are involved in an art exhibition entitled Kiangal and Kaloshta, and it links with the home and its com community and the school environment. And this creates a positive learning community within our school. So we would recommend that you would link in to view the artworks that are on display. Thank you. Hi, my name is Miss Bergen and welcome to our second year coding class. So our students learn um, a lot about computer programming in our class and I will show you um, some examples of their work. So we'll start with Aaron, who's working on his web page. So Aaron, do you want to tell us just some of the work you're doing with your web page, please? Uh, as part of our coding course, we have to create a web page using HTML. Uh, here's the Web, here's the code for the web page. When we're writing things in HTML, we would put them in these things called tags. For the project, we had been given learning intentions and success criteria that we had to follow. But if we wanted to do extra for the website, we could use the W3Schools website to add in extra, extra elements to the web page. So now we have Keen is going to show us just a little bit about microbits. So microbits are a small um, microprocessor and Keen has it connected up here to the traffic lights. Do you want to run it there? Yep. So he has it programmed that the lights will come on and off, similar to your traffic lights. And basically, you, have, you connect, we'll say, one of the crocodile leads to the power, and then the other has to be connected to the ground source. So he's building a circuit. And then he programs it that, we'll say, different lights come on at different times, and he uses sequencing for that. So they are all computer programming concepts that are used in a lot of different computer programming languages. Yeah. So that is just um, giving you an idea of, we'll say, what our students do in coding. And then in third year, they do a project on, and they can use any computer programming language that they liked, whichever one they preferred, they can use to complete the project. Um, thank you very much. You're very welcome to the graphics room here at Colossia Vera Coed. I'm Mr. Spillane, one of five graphics teachers here in the school. With us today, we have some first years working on some logos and also some fifth years working on DCG work. The first years have only been studying the subject for five weeks and are well capable of drawing and completing their work. We use a variety of teaching methods within this room 
and we use some very modern technology such as our state-of-the-art 88-inch TV. I'm now going to hand you over to James who's going to speak a bit about first-year graphics. Hi, my name is James and I'm a first-year student. I've been studying graphics as part of the first-year taster programme. We are currently drawing different logos and shapes using T-squares and set-squares. I really enjoy the challenges of the subject such as accuracy, measurements and using the new equipment. I find it very satisfying and a great level of achievement once I complete a drawing and it's, and it's definitely a subject I look forward to each week. Hi, my name is Nathan Kalan and I'm studying DCG in fifth year. In DCG we cover board drawing and getting familiar with 3D CAD software. We get familiar with industry standards such as SOLIDWORKS and Onshape. We acquire the skills to represent our work 2D on paper. We're then able to transfer our work onto the computer as a 3D model in a CAD software. We then have the opportunity to use the 3D Cindo Walk to 3D print our model and turn it into a, tree, a 3D real life model, like this one here. I hope you enjoyed your time with us here today in the graphics room. And I'm gonna hand you over to Annie, who's going to show you where to go next. Thanks, Mr. Smilan. The next person you, we want you to meet is Mr. Brennan. He's the first year year head here. And after that, Mr. Stapleton will show you all the extracurricular activities we offer here at CMCO. Hi, I'm Mr. Brennan, the first year year head in Colossal Wera Coed. I'm very proud and see it as a privilege to be trusted with the care of the first years each year. I very much see my role as a pastoral care role. Each year for the first years we run many programs. One of our most successful and renowned is our first year induction program. This is designed to help the first years with the transition from primary to post primary. Within the program it's a four step program. All students will have the opportunity to enter the school on numerous occasions where they'll get to familiarise themselves with their surroundings, their teachers and the stakeholders in their education, and also they'll get to know each other. I hope you're enjoying our virtual open night. If you have any questions and queries, I'd like you to ring the school and ask for me and Mr. Brennan, and I'll get back to you and I'll only be too delighted to help you. Thank you. And before we finish up tonight, we just want to give you a flavour of the extracurricular activities that happen in Colossia Vera Coed every week. Gaelic football. Senior debating. Hurling. Showtime. Boys soccer. Basketball. Boys and girls. TY. TV. Rugby. IT Technicians Club. Girls soccer. Crafting club. So now you can see there's something for everyone at Clash Vera Coed. Uh, so we'll hand you back to the first year. We hope you enjoyed the virtual tour of Clash Vera Coed. We enjoyed showing you around and we hope to see you here next year. Bye. Bye. Good evening. My name is Claire Wallace and I'm the deputy principal here in Clash Vera Coed. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to our virtual open night. I am so sorry that you couldn't be with us in person this evening, but please make sure to arrange to contact the school if you would like to come and visit us before you make this very important decision. Traditionally, as Deputy Principal, I speak about academic excellence and the student support team during my open night speech. But this evening, I have decided to approach this a little differently. Instead, I'm going to tell you about something that happened to me back in August when we returned to school. One day, our TYTV crew were going around asking people to sum up Kalosh Dewira in one word. I had my word ready and a person went before me and stole my word. Totally unprompted, I had to come up with a new word and the word I chose was fun. Now since then I've been thinking about that. Why did I choose the word fun to sum up Kalosh Tawira? Every morning I say to my own child as he goes to school, have fun 
and learn loads. You see, as a parent, I think that students need to really enjoy themselves in order to learn. But what does fun really mean? I think fun means that students know they are cared for, that they belong to a place, that they are happy. And in Kalash Dewira, we really value happiness. When I came here as deputy principal nine years ago, I really noticed that students really took care of each other and that there was wonderful relationships between the teachers and the students. That is all part of making a school a happy place to be in. And that is what sums up Kalosh Dewira for me, a fun and happy place. Now this decision on where to send your child for secondary school is the most important decision you are going to make for your child. So if I can help you in any way to make that decision, please do feel free to contact me. You're probably wondering what the other word was. The other word was inclusion, and I'm happy to talk to you all about that when I meet you. I am Dennis Quinn, the principal here at Colossia Burkhoid. I'm delighted to welcome you to our open night, and thank you for tuning in tonight. We hope you've got a clear sense of who we are, what we're about, and maybe even got to feel the warm, friendly atmosphere here in Colossia Burkhoid. We believe a happy school makes for a happy child, and your happy child, happy parents. Firstly, can I congratulate our first year students who were, our gui were your guides tonight. They're only in the school a few weeks, and have done a wonderful job of introducing our school to you. Parents, you can be proud. This could be your child next year. We are the only co-ed secondary school in Thurlis. And it is well documented that when you choose to send your child to a co-ed school, they will benefit from higher levels of social skills and increased self-esteem, which will best prepare them for the diverse world we live in. We we'll limit our numbers here in Colossiabury Coed so your child does not get lost in the system. All of our teachers get to know every student individually. We find this gives your child a great sense of value and belonging to our school community. The sense of belonging leads me to one of our core values, which is care. Therefore, care for your ch children and their well-being is our priority. We are a totally inclusive school and welcome all. We don't see any differences. We just see the child. Your son and daughter's well-being is so important to us. There is a genuine caring about a student's welfare here. And sometimes we might know a student's story and are able to discreetly provide a little help just as needed. You as a parent can have confidence in knowing that any concerns you may have will be listened to, dealt quickly, appropriately and effectively by our staff. Mr Brennan has already explained the induction programme and as a father of three children who have transitioned from primary to secondary. I am acutely aware of the fears and anxieties that exist for both students and parents. I am very proud of the programme and thank Mr Brennan and all the staff that make it so successful for your children. Along with care and respect, academic excellence is also one of our core values. Therefore, demands will be put on your children and they are expected to work hard and to achieve to the best of their ability. They will be challenged. We carry out continuous academic tracking and you will be notified if your child is not achieving to his or her ability. In recent years, some of our Leaving Cert students had results that were not only top in Turles or Tipperary, but were in the top 100 in Ireland. We live by our motto, Roth os ser, success through effort. While we offer the same subject as all secondary schools, we are in the privileged position here in Torres to offer extra STEM subjects, such as engineering, coding, digital literacy, along with extra languages such as Chinese and Japanese. Our learning has been supported by our online learning platform, 
Google Classroom since 2014. And during the recent lockdowns, the transition to online learning was easier for our students and hopefully for our parents also. To add to the excellent facilities that you've seen tonight, and to accommodate our increasing enrolment, we were delighted that phase one of our large extension is opening in November. We know a good discipline system empowers and allows students to be who they are. It creates a positive learning culture. Rich student engagement will only take place in a safe environment, which we provide here in Colossal Coed. We are strict but fair. We operate a very robust anti-bullying policy. Junior students are not allowed down at town at lunchtime and we make no apologies for upholding high standards. Respect is expected from all in our community. We don't just pay lip service to the area of behaviour. We operate a very comprehensive merit system. We reward positive behaviour rather than punish the negative. And students are actively engaged in collecting their merits. And when they are busy doing this, it cho chokes out the negatives. Good behaviour is the norm at Colossal de Wirecoid. Student numbers have been increasing steadily over the past few years and waiting lists have been in operation. So to apply, download the application form from the website and return it no later than the 15th of November or just simply contact UNA in the office. If you would like a tour of our facilities, please contact the office directly. Note, tours are limited to one child and one adult. Finally, I encourage you to sample all open evenings with your child and make an informed decision together. Choosing a secondary school is a huge milestone in your child's journey and we would ask you to please contact us with any further questions you might have. Thank you for tuning in tonight to what I hope has been an informative introduction to our school and we look forward to welcoming your son or daughter to our school community here at Colossal Coed. We will now leave you with a special performance from the school choir. Good night. Have you ever felt like nobody was there? Have you ever felt forgotten in the middle of nowhere? Have you ever felt like you could disappear? Like you could fall and no one would hear? Let that lonely feeling wash away
dark comes crashing through When you need a friend to carry you When you're broken on the ground You will be found So let the sun come streaming in Cause you'll reach up and rise again If you only look around You will be found You will be found Streaming in, cause you'll reach up and rise again. If you only look.